New York another short outing from Jason Vargas on Thursday This one was more his defense's fault than his own at least gave the Mets a chance to take an extended look at their bullpen Earlier Thursday, the Mets called up hard-throwing Bobby Wall, who will be for high-leverage opportunities alongside Drew Smith, Tyler Bashler and other youngsters The top performers from that group will enter next spring with an advantage over the others In that sense, the Mets continued the process of sorting through their bullpen during a 4-2 loss to the Braves, their third straight Wall made his big league debut two weeks after the team traded for him, hitting 98 miles per hour on a radar gun Robert Selman, whose long-term future the Mets see in the bullpen, followed with a perfect night View full game coverage Vargas gave up four runs in five innings, actually lowering his ERA from eight 36-8.23, to though the bulk of the damage occurred due to defensive issues behind him In the first inning, Michael Conforto slammed into the left field fence as he attempted to field Ronald Acuna Jr. S hit down the line, playing it into a triple Acuna scored one batter later on Ozzy Albee's single Video, ATL, at noon, Nimmo leads off bottom first with a home run in the third, the Braves took advantage of a Wilmer Flores missed throw to score three more runs, two on a Johan Camargo double Because Flores's throw was not technically an error, all of the runs against Vargas were earned Though the Mets fought back with the Brandon Nimmo solo homer and a Luis Guillorm RBI single, they did no further damage against Braves starter Mike Filtinuich The defensive issues also resulted in a high pitch count for Vargas, who exited a two-run game after the fifth an opportunity for the Mets to distribute four relatively high leverage innings amongst their relievers, with Paul Sewell and Jerry Blevins preceding Wall and Selman Anthony DeComo has covered the Mets for MLB.com since 2007. Follow him on Twitter at Anthony DeComo, Instagram, and Facebook.